Kudos. We changed the intro, and there's a good reason. Hello, Buddhas. Before we get started, down in the doodly-doo, I've got a video playlist with about 200 Buddha Billionaire videos that you can binge watch to help accelerate your spiritual awakening. Now, why did I say good morning, Vietnam? Well, for you youngins out there, Robin Williams was a gift. Thank you. And that movie was incredible. And I recommend watching it. It's actually on Disney Plus right now. Go ahead and do that. But before you leave this video, Good Morning Vietnam is a real political piece and a real kind of satire of the times, which is also totally relevant to 2020, which is kind of why I'm bringing it up. But most importantly, there's something I really picked up on in watching that video that I wanted to share with you. And that was how, I forget the character's name, but Robin Williams, the actor, how his character, he never says no, he never argues, he never contradicts his intentions. When he's shot down by the love interest in the film, he doesn't go, oh, okay, blah, 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 I'm gonna leave. No, he just changes the subject. Hey, would you like to get a drink? No, I don't want to get a drink. Hey, how about the weather today? Like, it just goes from one thing to the other. And I'm not Robin Williams, and I can't do the exact great acting that he has. We're working on it. We're working on it, okay? Soon to be on an Oscars near your shelf. But what is incredible is understanding that if you're working on a manifestation and someone says, hey, have you got the million dollars yet? And you say, no, I don't. Well, what you're doing right there is you're really just shooting yourself in the foot, people. You're affirming with your own actions and your words that you don't have what you're looking for. Instead, what you can do is deflect in a way. You're not arguing with the person, but there's no need to necessarily answer in the negative. If you said, yes, I have the millions, and then they go, okay, cool, like, when's the party? Well, now you're in a bit of a bit because you lied. You presented a truth that is a truth, but is not manifested quite this second into the 3D reality. And because of that, you may have to deal with some 3D consequences. No, not negative consequences necessarily, but they are realistic aspects of living in 3D. But if you deflect, and somewhat change the subject, or answer with a funny joke, or do something different, then in essence, you're allowing the person who asked the question to answer their own question. And Buddhists, this is incredibly powerful, because what is happening here is you are automatically, without them even knowing, you are allowing them to practice their own imagination. And their imagination is just as powerful as yours. That's why we're all here, to work with our imaginations and to build beautiful worlds for ourselves. So by not arguing and by not going down those conversations, either lying or by self-deprecating, and I realize that this is a bit of an extreme example. Do you have a million dollars? No, I don't. That's a terrible thing. But by confirming with that, they're just going to say, oh, okay, well, he doesn't have it, so he's never going to. Instead, if you deflect and you don't actually state that you don't have the money or that you don't have the thing or whatever, then what their imagination is going to start to do is start to go, huh, maybe he does. I don't know. Huh, wouldn't it be interesting if he did? Hmm, I don't know. Well, what if? Now the subject's changed and I don't have an answer and that's okay because it's not really that important of a question, but Buddhas, don't shoot yourself in the foot. There's no need to argue and come up with big grand answers or big convoluted lies, but if there's something that you are currently working on and people are asking you about it, it's not about always immediately telling them every aspect of the truth. Leave some of it to the imagination. Leave it to their imagination, and their imagination is powerful. And that's the beauty behind a lot of the comedies and a lot of the work, such as Good Morning Vietnam, where the 
audience gets to imagine, in a way, what the craziness is being talked about and the world that's being described. So Buddhas, remember, at the end of the day, other than not arguing with people and uh, shooting yourself in the foot, the most important thing is to love yourself.